Shaholics, welcome or welcome back. Today, we've just launched the kayak here in the Florida Keys. Haven't been here in about a year, so it feels amazing to finally be back. I've actually already been here for two days, but uh, my family was down here visiting, so I was hanging out with them, holding myself back from really fishing hard, but uh, the next few days is just gonna be all on us. We're gonna be launching the kayak or bank fishing all over the Keys and uh, just trying to capture as many moments as I can on the water and uh, make a few videos for you guys. So be sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Let's get out there and uh, see what is swimming around no name key right here. So let's get after it. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Keys. All right, well, this wind is kicking up pretty good out here, probably blowing like 15, gusting a 20 out of the northeast. And I think we're gonna start by hitting this bridge right here that goes across the channel. And then that's the island over there. Then I'm, oh, oh we've seen some mullet jump back in there. But yeah, we'll hit the bridge and then I'm thinking we'll work along uh, the more isolated shorelines of this island and uh, see what's willing to bite. So I think what's on the menu for today is some snook, tarpon, uh, bonefish and permit potentially. Probably gonna be really hard to get those two species and then probably barracuda and various different species of snapper, I think uh, could be on the menu. Just starting with a little fishaholic finback shad. A little weedy right there. We're gonna start working our way out into some deeper water probably and just target the pilings and hope there's a big old hungry snook hanging somewhere on this bridge. I'm gonna let the current and wind push me around to the other side here. Cause then I can cast up current and bring it and bring the shad down current. Therefore, if there's any snook sitting on this structure, they won't have a whole lot of time to look at this bait. They'll just have to react to it. Ooh, that's a good cast. Come on, come on. Get slammed, get slammed. Come on. Come on. Nothing. Oh, just got hit. Fish on. Crush it on the drop. There we go. Some type of jack here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Jack Raval. Nice. Good way to break the ice and start off the day. Look how deep he ate it. He really wanted it. We had a couple bites too. And then finally this guy nailed it. Got it. There he goes. A little bloody. Dang, that was tough to get out. He might end up turning into shark bait. Hoo ha ha. <laughs> if you ever seen uh, that movie. It's kind of like a, an animated cartoon. I, I think it's like shark, t no, uh, Finding Nemo, duh. What am I talking about? All right, I guess we'll have to keep working the bridge. Got blood on the deck to start off the day. Only really been fishing for about 10, 15 minutes. So pretty good start in my book. Fish on. That might be a snook. Oh, my. tarpon. Oh, it was a tarpon. Oh my God, and the jacks were chasing it. Whew. <laughs> that was a nice tarpon, dude. Slam the shad. Dang. All right, so nothing else on the bridge. We worked our way back across, and uh, now we're gonna start working our way towards the island here. And I'm in about like five feet of water right here, and I think I'm gonna start casting the Rapala in this zone and then just slowly start to work our way up shallower and then we'll work that way along the island and i think the further we get around the, the, the corner over there i think it'll be even calmer so uh, a lot easier to you know fish in the shallows and possibly even sight fish uh you know whatever's there all right well 
we switched it up. We were out there for about 15 minutes on the flat with the Rapala and no other bites. Go figure we had our first bite on the first cast, but now we're gonna try throwing around a little voodoo shrimp real close to the island here where it is a little calmer from the wind. I see a nice cuda cruising right in the shadow line there. He probably saw us and spooked. That was actually a nice one though. That was probably about a two footer. Ideally, I wouldn't want to catch him on the voodoo shrimp, but you know, if there's any snook, which that's what I'm like really looking for along here, uh, that's what uh, I would you know want to be prepared for. And just had a little nice uh, mangrove snapper follow this out. Oh, there he is. Got him. Fish on. This isn't uh, a mangrove, I don't think. Or maybe it is. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? That was something large. Dang, dude. If we catch a keeper snapper, I actually have my little burner with me, so I might uh, cook them up for lunch, waterside, which could be pretty cool. I have no idea what that was. Could have been a big cuda. Could have been a nice size snook. Oh, there's a nice snapper. Oh, dang. Really nice size snapper. A bunch of them. They're, they're under this overhanging limb right here. About double the size of the one I just caught. There he's got him. A bunch of nice snappers came out from this overhanging mangrove branch. Ooh, that's a nice one. This one is probably a keeper and would be perfect to throw on the skillet for lunch. But we are gonna throw him back because I wanna finish up the rest of this bank before thinking about, you know, catching and keeping lunch and cooking lunch. So I've got some of this Procure Shrimp Super Gel, which I'm squirting on this Voodoo Shrimp, just to give it a little more flavor. So I think it's working, being that these snappers we're catching are basically engulfing this thing. They're, they're eating it as well as if it's a live shrimp, and the, be the benefit is that uh, the little ones can't tear it apart so you can kind of just hold it there until a bigger one comes by and eats it there's a whole school of little snappers right there these ones are all small guys but there's probably a big one sitting in here somewhere no this one that one was big enough but oh he popped off see them all kind of cool slightly bigger one right there these fish aren't the smartest fish in the ocean being, especially that I'm like right on top of them in crystal clear water and uh, they're still hanging out by me where I'm throwing my bait. Ooh, that looks like a decent one over there. Looks like a really good one. There he is, got him. See something up there, I don't know what it is. Oh dang, we spooked it. Oh God, I think it was a small snook or a little barracuda. Oh, little barracuda. Nice snapper right there. Got him. Small one grabbed it though. something nice and real tight. I don't know if that's a shark. Might be a small nurse shark up here in the shallows. He's like kicking up the mud. That's crazy. I wonder if we can get him to hit the voodoo. Sam, look at that. That's crazy. 
wonder what he was doing under the water there, digging into the mud. Oh, nice snapper. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. Big barracuda just came in and crushed something. That would be perfect for lunch today. But we're almost done with the bank. Maybe the next one will be our lunch. There he goes, and he took the tail. I was trying to reach for my pliers to like pry his mouth open because he wasn't even hooked. He was just snapping onto the tail and he cut it off. All right, well, I think it is time to make a move. The snappers are snapping, but uh, not really much else. There are a bunch of barracuda along here, but they're being super finicky and they're not really large. They're all like 10, 15, 20 inches. So uh, I think we're gonna make a move. It's a uh, shame that there's not a whole lot of shoreline openings here otherwise i would have probably beached the kayak and cooked up one of those snappers for lunch with the portable burner but uh, since there isn't we're gonna go around the corner and uh, i saw on the map there's a couple little juicy like residential canals that uh, could just change the game it could be some deeper water and uh, just uh, a variety of other species hopefully some big snook or uh, some just some tarpon will be hanging in there but uh, we're gonna have to go up against uh, some pretty strong wind now to get to that spot so I'm gonna probably put the camera down and uh, pick things back up once we get up there. Right back there, I'm seeing fish coming up and grabbing or gulping air. Oh, we've got tarpon, tarpon right in here. Oh man, small ones it looks like. Let's tie up the rapala. Not that it won't work, but I wanna throw something just with a little more finesse, like the little voodoo shrimp. This hopefully won't spook them and they might eat it. Let's put some more juice on it first though. Got bumped. I think he dropped it. Definitely dropped it. Oh, come on. Eat the voodoo. Come on. They're popping off. They are perfect fun size. We just can't get them to bite, really. Like, I feel like I've had a couple little bites from them, but they could always be just snappers. There's one. Got him. Oh, he fell off. Dang. Whew. Oh, perfect. Got him. Oh yeah, got him, Whew, finally. It's a little guy, but hey, it's better than nothing. I think we've <laughs> gone down in like three sizes from the one in the bridge, which is probably like 40 inches, then the one we just lost, which was probably, you know, in the upper 20s, low 30 inch range. Now this guy is a real little baby. But we'll take what we can get, I guess. Woo! That one almost, <laughs> he almost jumped in the kayak. Woo! 
Oh my gosh. We got them. Oh, check them out right there. Almost dropped them. Nice little tarpon. Got the voodoo right in the top of the mouth. Now we'll send him back. All right, finally. Woo. Oh boy. Oh, that guy hit it like crazy. It seems like they're a little bit smaller up here, but who knows, there might be a larger one. But these little guys are feisty and hungry and they're eating the bait. So that's cool. As I'm letting it sink, I'm just giving it like a bunch of little jiggles. You can look at my rod tip. And that's when they're hitting it on the sink with a bunch of little jiggles causing that tail to quiver. Got him. Well, that's a nicer one. No. Oh. Oh my gosh. That was just insane. He almost jumped in the kayak on the bow, then went under and over so quick, he just unhooked himself. That was great. I was letting this sink down about like 10 feet there, just giving it a bunch of little quiver and jiggles. All right, we are back at the launch. That was a workout uh, being out there today. And uh, you guys are probably gonna miss a lot of what happened in between the second canal and getting back here to the launch. But uh, that's because uh, the end of the day ended up being uh, not too fishy. For whatever reason, those tarpon up in the second canal just straight up turned off. They were popping all around me still for like another hour, hour and a half after our last bite, but I just could not buy a bite. I you know, continuously fished the Voodoo, fished the three, man, three inch Z-Man fish various sizes of the Rapala X traps and uh, they turn off like a light switch, but that's the way it is. I am happy with what the fish gods gave me today. Caught a lot of snappers, had a lot of nice fishy action from some smaller size tarpon, and I hope it only gets better from here. Uh, you know, what a day to, what a fir great first day to start our little uh, Keys uh, fishing adventure. And I'm going to be down here, I think for like another three or four days and um, pretty much going to be just like roughing in the truck and uh, I might do some fishing tonight, but uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button, stay tuned for uh, all the little fishy video adventures that I got coming your way. And uh, hopefully we could just uh, do better from here on out. Uh, I'm probably gonna try and fish like a new area every single day, just uh, cause that'll make the adventure all that much better, especially if uh, we get on some fish. But I gotta get out of here. I am absolutely starving. I wish uh, we cooked up one of those snappers waterside, which I probably will do coming up in one of my other vids. So definitely, again, hit that subscribe button. And like always, live to fish, fish to live. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.